see, I'm very bioliterate in some very narrow ways. You could drop me into a rainforest in northern Australia or in, in, um, in Cameroon. I'm very much at home. I look at all this stuff and I see friends, I see enemies, I see behavior, I see, I know how this is going to behave and this is going to behave and this behave and I know, it's like reading. I, I can read the forest, all right? But 99.9% .9 of the people on the planet cannot because I think, looking at human nature and the way people operate, the only way that wild biodiversity on the big scale is going to survive the next 50 years, 100 years, 1,000 years, is by having society decide, okay, we want it. Because the old way of putting a barbed wire fence around it and putting a guard with a gun on it uh, may work for a day or two days or a month or a year. But in the long run, your bucket of gold gets stolen and gets eaten. There's just no way out of that. Because there will always be somebody who desperately needs or wants that resource. Or somebody who's simply avaricious and figures out that they can make themselves an awful lot of money from the gold or the hot water or the petroleum or whatever it is that's underneath your conserved wildland. So if the society as a whole doesn't come to a, a sort of a society-wide wish, just like they wish to have schools, they wish to have highways, they wish to have hospitals and health services, um, if they wish to have a chunk of their terrain be still in possession of the wild world, the wild world's going to be gone. So my feeling is that barcoding gives us the, the ability uh, to, to ordinary people to work with something without having to go through the taxonomic screen. So they, they don't have to have literally centuries of taxonomic detailed work by crazy people who dedicate their lives to that. Uh, before they have access to this information and to know what these species are.